Welcome to Fonts Learn. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to connect to the Microsoft Access Database in Visual Basic.net, then create custom prerequisites in Visual Studio 2019 setup project. To connect to the Microsoft Access Database in Visual Studio, you can select Data Sources on the left side, then select the additional icon to connect to the database. Next, you need to change your data source to the Microsoft Access Database file, then select the Microsoft Access Database file you want to connect. Finally, you need to check the connection, if the connection fails, you need to install the Microsoft Access Engine, then close and reopen your Visual Studio to reconnect the Microsoft Access Database. Open your form designer, then drag the data grid view control from your data sources on the left side to your form designer. As you can see, Visual Studio automatically creates binding source to help connect data between your application and database. The binding source component serves two purposes. First, it provides a layer of indirection when binding the controls on a form to data. This is accomplished by binding the binding source component to your data source, and then binding the controls on your form to the binding source component. Second, the binding source component can act as a strongly typed data source. If you open the app config file, you will see the connection string is automatically added to the configuration file. You can select the control type for each property, then drag the properties you want to display details to your form designer.
We will add the setup project to our solution, then create a setup file based on the program we created. Select Application Folder, then select your executable file. You can also easily add icons to your applications and create a shortcut to the desktop. You can also add icons to the Add Remove Program section, then enter your product details, such as product name, author, website, etc. If you want to add custom prerequisites in Visual Studio Setup Project, you can create Bootstrapper Packages. A Bootstrapper Package is a group of directories and files that contain manifest files that describe how the prerequisite should be installed. You should download Microsoft Access Engine to your computer. To create a Bootstrapper Package, you have to create a product manifest and, for each localized version of a component, a package manifest as well. You can easily find the Microsoft Access Engine product code in your registry. The product manifest, product XML, contains any language-neutral metadata for the package. This contains metadata common to all the localized versions of the redistributable component. The package manifest, package XML, contains language-specific metadata. It typically contains localized error messages. A component must have at least one package manifest for each localized version of that component. Finally, you need to copy the folder you created into the ClickOne's Bootstrapper folder. If you do it correctly, 
you will see your custom prerequisites in the Visual Studio. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.